stories that matter most for Fort Lauderdale. This is FTL City News. Hello everyone, I'm Ross Palumbo. We begin with dramatic video of Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue saving a man after his hand got caught up in machinery. Take a look, the tense moments caught on camera. Fire Rescue's technical rescue team finding this man with his fingers stuck inside an industrial mixer. It happened while he was trying to clean equipment at a tile business in the 800 block of Southwest 21st Terrace. The city's specially trained rescuers took the machine apart and were finally able to free him. The man was taken to the hospital with his hand still intact. Fire Rescue's technical team was so good and so precise, they also managed to save that key piece of machinery for the tile business. At the commission this week, the city sending a strong message to the county and state saying any new rail crossing at the new river needs to be a tunnel. Commissioner Glassman? Yes. Commissioner McKenzie? Yes. Commissioner Sorensen? Yes. Vice Mayor Meredith? Yes. Mayor Trentales? Yes. And the resolution is approved. Thank you. Commissioners approving a resolution urging FDOT to construct a tunnel after the tunnel and three bridge proposals were considered. It's all to accommodate a new coastal link transit system that would have 40 to 50 more trains traveling across the current rail drawbridge there, keeping it down more often and more often blocking major marine traffic. After seeing bridge proposals that would have to be as high as the 17th Street Causeway and more than a mile long, the commission decided to push for the tunnel. The commission voted unanimously to support the tunnel approach because it clearly was the best approach for the community. People have to understand that this is a project of regional significance. It's not just about Fort Lauderdale. It impacts not just Broward County, but also the counties north and the south of us. It's an important, it's going to be something that is going to be uh, transformational. And I think it'll be an example for other communities throughout the, the region that tunneling is the, the best approach to adding capacity. The mayor says a tunnel could be built for under $1.5 billion. That's more than a bridge, but he says worth the investment. Now the Broward County Commission will weigh in coming up next month. Also along the new river, Fort Lauderdale's commission making history literally. Commissioners voted to make the city's only castle an historic landmark. You've probably seen it. This one bedroom, one bath home has a coral facade and stands proudly on the south bank of the new river at Southwest Fifth Place. After a developer bought the property for $1.5 million back in May, neighbors worried he might tear the fairy tale structure down to build townhomes. Now, though, with this historic designation, the commission will have a say in any exterior or structural changes at the castle. Last week, we told you where you could drop off your household hazardous waste, and many of you listened. On Saturday, dozens of people took their old paint cans, car fluids, cleaners, and pool chemicals to Mills Pond Park. All that waste was collected there from neighbors' trunks and truck beds, and it was a huge success. 282 people brought in items, the most unusual one, a 1940s black and white TV. Now, if you missed it, don't worry. The next drop-off is in just a few months. It's coming up in April, and of course, we'll keep you updated. But it wasn't all work last weekend. There was plenty of fun. Parents were out with their kids, for example, taking action for literacy. It all happened at Carter Park, the group behind all those little library boxes, partnering with the city to host reading-oriented games, arts and crafts, and book giveaways. Local authors were there to help as well. The whole curriculum is based on the children knowing how to read, so it's very important that they get their reading skills from very young, from very young, and then as they grow up, the comprehension comes in, and that's where they need it for math, and that's where they need it for science, for social studies, for everything. So we are thrilled. We've got a lot of people out. We're giving away a lot of prizes. We're giving away a lot of books, having a lot of fun. So it's a great day. It was all geared towards third graders and kids even younger, and it was free. Looks like it was a huge success. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of the City News. Don't forget to check us out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And for everything you could ever want to know about the city, just head to our newly redesigned website, fortlauderdale.gov. I'm Ross Palumbo. We'll see you soon.